hello hello welcome back to Dreamsons Today we're gonna review the Smart Kit 01 the Bumblebee model kit from the Bumblebee movie Before I become a Transformer fan, I actually start with the model kit And I am a big model kit fan actually I'm really excited when the first I received the announced There is a Transformer Bumblebee movie model kit range And this is the first one and I can't wait to get this guy in this video, I will mainly review the older part in this model kit, the quality and also I will assemble and after that, I will also do some repaint and dark washes and share the final result with you guys. Alright, let this begin! Alright, without further ado, let's check out the box first. This is the official item from Hasbro, they got the licensing as well. Here we can see the Transformer Bumblebee plastic model kit and here is the logo, the Trump Peter on the top left. Is it something to do with trumps? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, here's the transformer. They print it on the side. And in the middle, there is a bumblebee from the Bumblebee movie. And on the side of the box, we can see they have 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 in total. Including the 8 of them is Cybertron mode. Model kits will be coming soon. And I think they will be awesome when put them together in a model kit form. If you have noticed that, this packaging design is a bit different. They mainly use Chinese in the title and also descriptions. Maybe this design is targeting only Chinese market. For the other country outside of China, they will have different packagings. If you guys saw it, please let me know in the comments below. Here on this side, we can see the Bumblebee finishings and the movability and also the detail. It looks amazing in the picture and hopefully inside, after assemble everything, they will look the same. The head sculpt look amazing, also they have a battle mask. The weapon included the arm cannons and the blade. Can't wait to open it! Alright, without further ado, Bumblebee assemble! Alright, here we have all the kits outside the box. As you can see, they have a different type of package and they are all been colored. And here is the menu and we can see the Autobus logos. Inside the menu, they are quite actually complicated because they want to achieve the movement and articulation and all the parts come with so tiny and small pieces with detail. So we have to go through it with this menu step by step. Although this is the model kit who already colored it, but they still give you the color code just in case you want to do a custom paint. I think that is really really nice. Let's have a quick look overall about this model kit. The paint job is nice and clean. They are protected all small parts in a different package to ensure all the parts will not get damaged. Here we go, all the parts has been opened now. Now we start picking up some parts to see the detail. The first, we start from the head scalp. The head scalp detail it looks great and also we can see the Autopart logo printed on top even though just only about 1cm. And the amazing thing is you can see all the detail. I think they did a good job. And next, we have a look at the face mask sculpting. It's still lack of the highlight. If they with some highlight, I believe they will look even, even better. Alright, next is the arm cannons. It looks really nice with the detail. And also the paint job, they did a good job. And I really like what they did to the muzzle. The detail is, is amazing. And here we have the hands. They have a very, very nice sculpted detail and also painted in yellow highlight. Even though the foot, they did a really, really good job. And the detail, it looks stunning. Only the veil, it looks nice, but it's actually missing the W logo. And I hope they actually have it. And the side five panels, color, and also the tail light touch up, it looks really nice too. And in this part, they mainly molded in yellow color with the all different color touch up and details. I really like this part on the chest part. They molded nice, neat, and clean. And also, they provided the clear color tail light as well. And they also come with a very nice detail motor stand. Included the Autopart logo and the Satucon logo you can put on the stand as a display. Alright, now we have all the parts ready to assemble. I will do a quick assemble. If you got any question, you can always leave the comments below and let me know.
Alright, here we go. We have the Bumblebee model kit assembles and it looks amazing, except it is really, really small. It's just about 9 cm tall. It's actually it's quite challenging to assemble it. As you can see, because they all come with a really, really tiny, small part and the joint is tight, I cannot use my finger to assemble that. In fact, I need to use some plier as a tool to squeeze in some of the part of the joint. When I talk about the size, let's compare with the DMK Bumblebee model kits. And here you see, the size is just half of the DMK Bumblebee model kit. Why so small? I don't understand. You can actually build the same size, right? I don't mind to pay a bit more, but it's just too small. And let's compare with the TE-02 Bumblebee. As we know, they both come with the Transformer Bumblebee movie. I get this model kit because I know they're more accurate in the robot mode. But I didn't expect the size is so much different. The color is good, everything is good, but the size is just too small. And yet, here is the worst part. Here I got the Toy World 09 Tactic Waste Gold Ultimate Prime from Bumblebee movie. And you see, <laughs> I don't want to say anything because not even until his knees. Alright, after all the bad comments, and let's check about the advantage of this figure, the articulations. And you can see the head base on both joints, that you can rotate, turn this 360, there's no problem. And the arm, you can lift up like so. They have a double joint, so which is you can angle a bit. And the arm can be rotated 360, and the elbow can be bent just over 90 degrees like so. But surprisingly, they didn't come with the arm swivel, but it still kind of can touch your head. And the hands come with basic joints, so it can only rotate. And the upper body rotation is definitely been limited. The leg speed about 45 degrees because of the top panel. Or you can turn in this side so they can be opened up to 90 degrees. And the feet can be raised behind that far and at the front can be rotated that far, just over 90 degrees. The knees actually built is double jointed so it can bend really really well. And the feet also come with the bone joint so they can be tilted up that way and tilt back and very nice side tilting range as well. This model kit they come with two types of wings. One is open, one is folded. The one you see now is open up. They are come with the basic joint. They can only tilt up and tilt down. I really hope this part they can build in the ball joint so we can have a different range of motion. Although this is a small figure, but for the articulation part, I can say they did a good job but not great. But still, you can manage to do all the different poses in the movie. The joint is tight and the plastic they use is really good, nice and flexible. I don't think you will easily to break any part of this. About the accessory, they are come with the arm blade. Just simply plug in to apply. And also the arm cannon. You just remove the hand and then just squeeze it in. Simple. About the face mask, you need to remove the whole head and replace with the face mask head. And also the back wings, simply remove that and plug in the folded one. Although this model kit has been fully colored, but still there's some perfection need to be done. What I do is I gonna simply apply a dark wash and also update some color highlight and I believe it will bring it to next level. And here I use the two water-based color. One is black, one is dark brown. As you can see, I will simply apply the color all around and I will wash it out, make it more depth. The water-based color basically easy to dry, so I actually do it a little bit, little bit by the time. So the first, I use the black color and mix with the dark brown color. It make it look more natural. I apply the color to the body, make sure it fill up all the gap and all the detail. After they dry out, I simply use the cotton bar, touch some water, and clear out all the excess. After then, you will see the difference instantly. It looks great for me. And then I follow the same process with all over.
now you can see the right side has been washed and the left side hasn't. The difference is remarkable. You can see all the detail has been popped out. And now we can do the whole figure. Now you see the whole figure has been washed and you see the difference is it looks more natural and dusty. This is how Bumblebee looks. I always prefer the water-based color for the wash because it can mix the color that you prefer instead of just only black color. And again, I can clean it up anytime I want it or I can leave it like this. And also I do the same thing with the arm cannons. It looks a lot better now. And the arm blade now is look more detailed. And yes, sure, the battle mask now looks more depth. And finally, I also highlighted with a silver marker with all the missing paint part. Below the pumper part, as you can see, this part inside is still silver, it's supposed to be yellow color. So I use the water base color again with the yellow color and red color mix. This is a very small area so you have to be careful to paint it, but you don't need to paint it all in once. Basically, I apply the first layer, until it's dry, I apply the second layer, it will done the job. So far, I'm really happy with the result. After the wash with the silver highlight and touch up, now it looks more depth and more detailed. And the last but not least, I use the dark metallic spray paint for the stand. The result is now it looks a lot more better. Alright, finally we've done it. I believe if you don't see the size, this is considered a very nice bumblebee model kit. It achieved almost everything. The looks, the pose and the capability of this figure can do also, the materials of plastic they use on this figure is almost achieved the high marks for me. It's a must to get. But the downside is the size is just too small. I will excite it and get it as soon as I can when this is coming out. But I didn't do research about the size comparisons. And I hope you guys see this. Is there the figure you want to get? Is there the correction range that you want to match? And I can tell you when you get this model kits and you need to get the whole sets of them. So only you can match the whole collection sets. Will I get the whole set? I will still say maybe and I hope this will be helpful for you if you want to get if you are the one who looking the small size figure maybe this is the best for you Alright here is the wrap and thanks again for stay until now if you like this video and think this is useful please share to your friend and don't forget to give a thumbs up subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss the coming soon video I'll see you soon